guys, Eat of Essentials here. Happy Thanksgiving! For today's project, I'm going to be starting off with a balloon. And after putting air in the balloon, I'll be adding some interesting things to it for DIY lighting. I'm going to keep the balloon in place with tape. For the mixture, I'll be using equal parts of glue and water. I'll be cutting this into smaller pieces. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now that I'm done with this, I'm going to put a thick layer of Mod Podge over it and then take beads that I got from Party City, but you can get beads from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'll be covering the entire top with beads. Now that I'm done with this, I'm going to keep it aside and let it set for 48 hours. For the second design, I'll be repeating the same steps as the first one. But the only difference is I'm going to make the paper towel on top thicker. And then the decorative item that I'll be using will be Dollar Tree Confetti. This is the gold and some other colors, but I'll be using silver for this project. And I also got confetti from Party City that I will be mixing with the Dollar Tree Confetti.
I want this to be thick enough so it can stay in place while drying. This is just how I want to apply the confetti to this, but you can definitely have your Mod Podge over the ball shape and then sprinkle the confetti over it, wait for it to dry, do it again. Maybe four times should do the trick so that you have a lot of confetti over it when it's dry. This is what it looks like after 48 hours and it turned out rock hard. You can still see some liquid here because it was airtight, especially at the bottom. I popped the balloon and then I cut out some parts of the tips with a pair of scissors. This is so strong and sturdy and you can definitely make a larger one using more beads and it can be used as a potpourri bowl. The second design after 48 hours looked like this. And I have to say that it is not as strong as the first one because this is just paper towel and confetti, but it is really strong though and still perfect for the lighting idea. I have a piece of a cardboard box that has been covered with mirror reflective paper and I'm going to be cutting it to the size that I want for the project and then I'll be measuring where the lighting and the mirrors that I got from the Dollar Tree are going to be situated at. Now the lighting was not from the Dollar Tree, I got that from Walmart and it uses a remote control but the link for that and every other item used in this project is going to be down in the description box below. The hole that I carved in the middle is for the lighting to make it easy to change the batteries. The dried up glue at the cover was from a series of attempts to see how I can have this mounted on the wall. And after trying two designs, I ended up with this one. The mirrors and the ball design will be glued to the board. I'll be covering the sides with Dollar Tree silver plastic spoons. I attached the twine at the back to mount it on the wall. I later decided to remove the spoon heads to see what it was going to look like without them. The second lighting design is going to be attached to a tray. I got this tray from Party City, but you can get something similar to this at the Dollar Tree as well. I carved out a little round shape and also carved out a round shape from a foam board and attached it to the back. And then I made a hole in the middle for the push lights. I just used hot glue to attach the ball shape to the top and it holds up pretty well because I'm using a high temperature glue gun. This is what it looks like mounted on the wall and it's so pretty and really light in weight compared to the other one that I used mirrors to hang it which added to the weight but both of them are really pretty and I really love the way they all turned out. This is how both of them look like side by side. I want to wish you all again a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who are not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.